friends. So I wanted to start a weekly video um, about things that have been on my heart. Uh, not because I am a doctor or um, a licensed specialist in anything, but I read a lot of books. Um, and sometimes I think it's nice to hear things from people who aren't necessarily studied in a field. Um, so this is what has been on my heart this week. I started off my week in a big ol' rut. Um, and for many of you who know me, I have my own Arvon business, um, and I have been working that a lot, and I did not feel like doing much of anything this week, which was really hard because it was my boyfriend's birthday yesterday, and I have three dogs that need to be fed and walked, and I just felt stuck in this rut, and I could not figure out how to get out. So I wanted to share some of my tips for getting out of a rut because I know that this is something that everyone feels. So these are my five quick tips to get yourself out of a rut. Number one is to do a positive action. So like if you're feeling a rut in your business, do the work, show up for yourself. A lot of times we think more about our work than we are actually doing our work. I know that is especially true for me. I will stress and stress and stress about my job, but then I'm not actually doing any activity. So um, if it's something in your personal life, uh, have a conversation with whatever is bothering you. If it's a thing, if it's money, if it's your partner, have a conversation with them. Um, so number two is to get moving. For me, I always take my dogs out when I'm feeling stressed out. I will take my dogs for a walk. Uh, or you can put on your favorite song that just empowers you and inspires you and dance it out. Dance it like nobody's watching. Go for a hike, go for a swim, just go walk and check your mail. Get outside and do something. Number three is to reach out. Reach out to someone that you love or trust. Call your mom, call your dad, call your best friend, call your therapist, whoever. Um, and if you feel like you don't have anyone to talk to, you can absolutely reach out to me or you can also reach out. There are forums online that you can actually talk to a stranger. And I do that quite frequently when I'm feeling very lonely. And it is actually really soul filling to talk to someone who doesn't even know your name. Um, and you can be very vulnerable with them in that platform. Number four is to practice gratitude. A lot of times I find that I get so overwhelmed with negativity because I am not practicing gratitude in my own life. Um, so recently I've had a lot of issues with travel um, and it was really, really easy for me to just look at it and be like, oh, poor me, this is happening to me. I'm such a victim of my circumstances. But really it was so fun because instead of taking a plane, I got to take a bus. And I got to figure out that my life wasn't ending. I still got to where I wanted to be in the time that I wanted to get there. I just needed to reframe it. And I met some really wonderful people on the way. I was able to get work done because I had internet. So all in all, it was a great experience. So if you can, try to find gratitude in whatever is happening to you. Or if you can't find gratitude in what is happening to you, find gratitude in something else that is happening. If, and number five, our last one is to master your mind. We are the creators of our universe. What we think about, we bring about. So if you are thinking that everything is happening to you, try to reframe your mind. Um, you can absolutely tell yourself, like if you feel like the world is coming down on you and you're just being crushed by everything, try to reframe your mindset into a more positive one. So tell yourself that you are in control of your emotions. Your emotions do not control you, you control them. And see if that helps. Like for me, I find uh, when I'm having an anxiety attack or I feel really stressed out about something, I will sit for just a minute in silence and remind myself that these emotions don't control my life and that I can turn the tables and choose to be happy. And then I'll think about things that make me happy, like puppies. And I'll watch some puppy videos for two minutes and then automatically I feel better. And I do the other four things on the list because that always seems to help. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is my very first video. Ah! Um, and I hope it brings some of you joy and inspiration and I can't wait to bring you one next week. Love you all.